The US dollar is the most widely used currency in the world, and its complex symbolism has led some to believe that it hides occult messages and prophecies. If you enjoyed our previous video on the secret hidden symbols in US dollars, then prepare yourself for the darker side of the dollar. Here are our top 10 conspiracies found on dollar bills. Amazing! Number 10. Symbols of Satan Many people know that the graphics on dollar notes hide certain hidden symbols, but some people believe those symbols are in fact messages placed there by an elite and highly secretive society that controls the world. This group is known as the Illuminati, and their ultimate goal is said to be creating and ruling over a malevolent new world order. They've become so confident in their ability to create this new world order that they have even taken to advertising it on US currency. Robert Howard, the man behind the conspiracy website TheForbiddenKnowledge.com, believes that the stars seen on the great seal of the $1 bill above the eagle's head are not in fact stars, but pentagrams arranged to form a hexagram, better known by conspiracy theorists as the Greater Seal of Solomon. The connections between the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and the temple created by Solomon in the Bible are well documented, but conspiracy theorists make another claim of a connection with the devil. Apparently, the hexagram is a very powerful symbol used to depict the Antichrist. The reason for this is that a hexagram is made up of six points, six angles, and six planes, resulting in the number 666, perhaps better known as the number of the beast. More on this later. Number 9. The Lesser Seal and the Eye of Satan Beside the great seal on the back of the $1 bill is what is known as the Lesser Seal with the iconic unfinished pyramid topped with the all-seeing eye. This all-seeing eye has raised many eyebrows over the years, with some people claiming that an Egyptian image is an unfitting symbol as a representation of the United States ideals. Other people, however, take this even further. According to some conspiracy theorists, the all-seeing eye is not, in fact, the eye of divine providence, overseeing the blessed union of states as many claim, but instead a much more malevolent eye of the Illuminati, overseeing its minions doing their bidding. Used for centuries in Freemasonry, the eye has, for some, come to signify not the biblical god Jehovah, but instead the dastardly Masonic god Jabulun, also known as Lucifer who watches over his minions from atop the ominously numbered 13 steps of his Masonic Pyramid. Number 8. The 13 Illuminati Bloodlines The $1 bill has many depictions of the number 13 on the back of it. 13 leaves in the olive branch, 13 bars and stripes on the shield, and 13 arrows in the eagle's right talon, among others. But apparently these images have nothing to do with the original 13 colonies that rebelled from the British and formed the United States of America, as those pesky historians claim. Their presence is much more malevolent. In Fritz Springmeier's book, Bloodlines of the Illuminati, he explains that the number 13 on the $1 bill actually represents the 13 bloodlines that make up the families of the Illuminati. These bloodlines carry the names of some of the wealthiest families in the modern world, such as DuPont, Kennedy, Onassis, and Rockefeller. Jabulon's unfinished pyramid on the Lesser Seal has just 13 steps, each of which Springmeier believes represents one of these families that contributes to the Illuminati's demonic world domination. He goes on to say that the 13th bloodline, called the Merovingian, actually contains the blood of Satan himself and will one day produce the Antichrist and bring about the end of days. Who says the internet isn't a cheerful place? Number 7. The Numerological Rabbit Hole Numerology is the study of finding meaning in seemingly innocent numbers, and it is very easy to find yourself overwhelmed by its claims. At the base of the pyramid on the Lesser Seal, we can see the Roman numerals MDCCLXXVI, representing 1776, the founding year of the U.S. According to conspiracy theorists, though, it was also the founding year of the Illuminati. It is believed that Illuminati founder Adam Weishaupt chose 1776 specifically because when those numbers are added together, they make the number 21. When the specific date and the first day of the fifth month are added together, they then come to 27, which is 3 times 9. Why is this important? Well, according to the Freemasons and the Illuminati, certain numbers are considered sacred, the first of which is the number 3. 
They also believe that a number's sacredness can be amplified when the number itself is multiplied. So, 9 equals 3 times 3, and is therefore 3 times more sacred and powerful than the original 3. Multiply that multiplication by another 3, and the date of the foundation of the Illuminati can give chills to those inclined. Conspiracy theorist Robert Howard took the Roman numeral system conspiracy even further. He said that if you take each of the early Roman numerals and add them up by their value, they make for pretty damning evidence of the system as a whole. Howard excluded the numeral M as 1000 because of its later use, but then added together D as 500, C as 100, L as 50, X as 10, V as 5, and I as 1 to make the number 666. He saw this as another sign of diabolic meddling on the $1 bill by the Illuminati. Number 6. The 3300 Pictographs Michael Fazio, the self-proclaimed world's most foremost expert on pictography, claims to be the first to have found no less than 3300 symbols and pictographs on the $1 bill. Included amongst Fazio's 3300 images is a much, much bigger and more brazen owl that appears when the bill is folded bringing together the two sides of the great and lesser seals to make its eyes. When the same folded bill is flipped on its head, Fazio shows the world a malevolent bat, a skull with teeth, he emphasizes, and even the fertile pods that gave birth to the universe. Pods, he poetically refers to as God's gonads. Keep that tinfoil hat on because there's more to come. Number 5. The Bohemian Grove if you watched our previous video, Secret Hidden Symbols on US Dollars, you'll be aware of the tiny owl that certain keen-eyed people claim to be able to see on the front of the $1 bill. Rather than explaining it as a trick of the eye, however, some conspiracy theorists color the owl with a pretty fantastic story. Used as a symbol of wisdom since ancient times, and incorporated as such in Freemasonry, the owl also had a more dastardly meaning as the symbol of the dreaded biblical Lilith. This queen of the demons seemed a fitting symbol for the founding members of the ultra-secretive club known as the Bohemian Grove. The Bohemian Grove is a members-only organization for the world's elite and has boasted such high-profile members as George W. Bush, Richard Nixon, and Teddy Roosevelt. It is said that at their social events, members perform satanic rituals beneath a 40-foot concrete effigy of Lilis Al, who is known by the terrifying name of Moloch, the Canaanite god of child sacrifice. The Bohemian Grove is also thought to be one of the main congregations of the infamous Illuminati, and by arranging the appearance of Moloch on the $1 bill, they are flaunting their power in front of everyone. Number 4. Feathers and Freemasonry Riding in Masonry in Texas, James D. Carter pointed out that the eagle on the Great Seal has a different number of feathers on each wing. According to Carter, this seemingly innocuous fact is actually a blatant allusion to the role the Freemasons played in the foundation and continued influence of the United States on the rest of the world. Carter points to 32 feathers on the right, or Dexter wing, and the 33 feathers on the left, or Sinister wing. These apparently refer to the two highest levels, called degrees, of Freemasonry awarded to only the most influential and powerful people in the world. Carter himself was a 32nd degree Freemason, and some conspiracy theorists believe that people such as J. Edgar Hoover, Reverend Billy Graham, and Walt Disney were awarded the 33rd degree status for outstanding Masonic service. In his book, Carter also points to the Eagle's nine feathers on the $1 bill, which he claims denote the number of chapters in the York or American branch of Freemasonry. He says that this is also a numerological symbol that unites American and French Freemasons and their dastardly ideals of equality, fraternity, and liberty. Naughty French. Number 3. The $1 Bill and FDR Originally, the greater and lesser seals made up a small disc that was attached to the bottom of important documents. It was Secretary of Agriculture Henry A. Wallace who showed the then President Roosevelt the lesser seal and suggested a coin be made to make use of that side too. Impressed by the motto Novus Ordo Secularum, or New Order of the Age, being presided over by the all-seeing eye, the 32nd degree Freemason Roosevelt told Wallace to include it on the dollar bill next to the greater seal. Afterwards, he made these handwritten changes to the design so that the Masonic Eagle's 32nd degree pointed to that new world order and the all-seeing eye, and signed it off with his famous initials, 
FDR. Number 2. $100 Bill Nuke and Tidal Wave Thanks to the perennial nature of the internet, the horrors of pareidolia don't stop with finding prophecies after the fact. According to Discover and YouTube evangelist Jonathan Kleck, the government is continuing their practice of foreshadowing catastrophes on the newest version of the $100 bill. When folded, the new $100 bill appears to show an exploding intercontinental ballistic missile on New York City. Kleck also claims that when the quality of the resolution is fiddled with a little, we can see the onslaught of an unstoppable tidal wave caused by either that blast or another one that will destroy the metropolis. A tidal wave that just so happens to resemble that of the 2004 movie The Day After Tomorrow, in fact. Furthermore, the blue band with a hologram on the bill represents the devastating water, and the holographic image of the Liberty Bell, which appears to ring when you move the note, is ringing a warning note for the end of times. According to Jonathan Kleck, that is. Number 1. Foreshadowing Folds Sometime in 2002, the shadow of the tragic events of 9-11 still hung over many people's lives and they looked to many places for solace. It was at this time that the internet started to ring with the calls of conspiracies and false flags, which were reputedly found in the form of damning and prophetic images on folded $5, $10, $20, and $50 bills. According to some internet users, when folded in a certain way, the $5 bill shows the Pentagon in Twin Towers before the attacks on 9-11. The folded $10 bill is believed to depict that iconic image of the first tower burning, and the $20 bill reveals the Pentagon and both Twin Towers on fire after they were hit by the planes. Finally, this show of grim origami presents the moment when the Twin Towers finally collapsed, taking thousands of innocent lives with them. According to those doing the folding, these images are proof of the government's hand in these tragic events, and they don't look like they're going away anytime soon. And these are top 10 conspiracy theories on dollar bills that have set fingers trembling on wallets and on keyboards since the dawn of the internet.